Chairman, and thank you for your participation. I'm a little confused about some of the legalities. You've heard me say before, I'm 10 years short of my uh, legal degree. I'm also more concerned about the fact that how concerned and kind of confused at how this law, this change, would end up in the health committee. It doesn't seem like it has anything to do with health, but it has everything to do with changing the law in the state of Ohio. Why would it be in the health committee and not in the judiciary? Have any idea? But I can answer that because I've asked the speaker to send all abortion related bills to this committee. He would like to come in for us. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, Representative Quaid, you notice that uh, this serious amount of penalty is always attached to uh, these kind of issues. And I wonder if you're familiar with what happened in Stubenville. Young boys that uh, were accused and convicted of rape. Do you know what their sentence was? Uh, Mr. Chairman, Representative, I'm not aware of that. They were sentenced to less than two years. I noticed that with some of the bills that you're offering in particular, there is a sentence of 10 years for violation. Is there, is there some reason why a doctor that uh, you feel violates uh, your uh, moral thinking should be sentenced to? Ten years in prison when someone else is all thinking for a rape or should be sentenced to less than two years in prison? Well, Mr. Chairman, our representative, I certainly can't speak to that situation there uh, on, on the rape. But as far as the purpose of the penalties in this bill, uh, those of us who believe that, uh, that abortion is the ending of human life find this to be very, very serious. And we want to make sure that the the abortionists understand that uh, it's the policy of the state of Ohio that this is very, very serious and to remove any, uh, any and all possibilities uh, that, uh, that, that they would not comply with this law. One more question, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Do you, uh, do you see uh, my confusion, though, uh, with changing the state law? That, uh, that there is a difference between changing state law and talking about health care issues. Do you agree that you and I are uh, sometimes, because of our lack of education, capable of making legal issues unless we have the help of uh, those learned individuals that have gone through law school? Isn't it a little more difficult for us sitting in the health committee to make decisions about uh, changing laws? Uh, Mr. Chairman, Representative, uh, when, it, when it comes to changing laws, uh, I think that's, that's what we do as lawmakers. And I certainly rely on the expertise of, of, uh, of lawyers, as I'm sure you do, on, on whatever, uh, whatever particular side of the political spectrum, on any particular issue spectrum. Uh, and, uh, and certainly uh, th that reliance is certainly what uh, aids us in, in being able to overcome our Ten years shy of a law degree that uh, you and I both you and I both share. So, uh, but it's it's the uh, it's the assistance of those folks that uh, that we reach out to. This is a law issue, not a health issue. Uh, Mr. Chairman, Representative Hagan, I, I strongly believe that uh, that the health of the health of the baby is at stake and the health of the uh, mother is at stake uh, in, in a bill like this. So I I would disagree. Thank you.